Welcome back, Nate here with another piano tutorial. Today I'm gonna do Moon Age Daydream by David Bowie. This is from his legendary 1972 Ziggy Stardust album, and it's just classic Bowie, wildly imaginative. Who knew that telling someone to put their ray gun to your head could feel so sentimental? Anyway, let's just get into it. All right, so let's just jump in with the verse. And I recommend getting the chords and lyrics chart. You can download that. There's a link below. That'll help you follow along and see where the chords line up with the words. So here's the chord progression that you need for the verse. Let's just go through them one chord at a time. So it starts on a D major. Um, this is, I'm playing it kind of almost an octave below where the middle C is. And it's just gonna be a D, an F sharp, and an A. And throughout, I'm gonna do just single bass notes in the left hand. So just kind of playing an octave lower on the note that the chord is named after. So D with my pinky there. And then next we've got an F sharp major. So that's gonna be F sharp, A sharp. Well, it's probably telling you B flat. Um, I know it's kind of weird to mix the flats and sharps, but doesn't really matter as long as you press the right key. So that's a F sharp, B flat, and a D flat there in the right hand. And I'm just playing an F sharp in the left. Next up we have a B minor. I'm gonna do that with my left hand thumb on B. And then the right hand can do a B, a D, and an F sharp. The B minor over A, so what comes after that little slash is the bass note. So you're just gonna keep doing that B minor chord in the right hand and step the bass note down to an A. We need two more chords. We've got an E major chord. That's gonna be E, A flat, and B. And finally, we've got a G major chord. That's a nice simple one, all white keys. G, B, and D doing my second finger on G in the left hand. Now we're gonna think of this in a nice slow 4-4 four, four time. So that means each one of these measures gets four counts. Now that we know all the chords, I'm gonna play and sing this through. Um, just a couple of things about the rhythm. For the first two chords, the D and the F sharp, we're just gonna play on beats one and two and then kind of rest for the second half of those measures. So like one, two, three, four. Same thing on the F sharp. One, two, three, four. Four, and then for really the rest of the verse, we're just gonna do quarter notes in the right hand. So just holding the left hand bass notes while doing like one, two. Uh, the B minor to the B minor over A is squeezed two chords per measure. So that's gonna be two counts for each, three, four, then to the E. If for now it's easier for you to play and sing it by just holding the chords, not worrying about the rhythm, that's totally cool. I'm an alligator. I'm a mama papa coming for you I'm a space invader I'll be a rock and rolling bitch for you Keep your mouth shut You're squawking like a pink monkey bird And I'm busting up my brains for the worst Three, four, E Two, three, four that's the whole verse. Before we move on to the chorus, just want to give a couple extra thoughts there. Um, it really slams in at the beginning bah, bah, for that uh, D and the F sharp. And then when you get to the B minor, I'm just going to pull back and be kind of gentle there. Those dynamics help really bring the song to life. Also to smooth everything out, I'm holding down the sustain pedal with just quick lifts every time the chord changes. If you need help coordinating the sustain pedal lifts, you can check out my video, I go deep on it there. Final thought here, and this is totally optional, um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of extra rhythm with my left hand just to kind of keep it feeling groovy. We're gonna need to think in eighth notes, so not just the one, two, three, but the spaces in between where, you know, if you're tapping your foot, it goes up on one and two and three and four and. And I'm just gonna be sneaking in extra left hand hits on the and after two and the and after four. So like one, two, and three, four, and. And this is also a thing that comes up a lot. So I made a separate video if you need some extra practice coordinating that. So here's the chord progression for the chorus. You'll notice there's no new chords here that we didn't already do in the verse, but they are gonna be some different inversions. So it starts on a G. We are playing the G down here. We're gonna invert it up twice. So you would take that G, put it up there. That's the first inversion. Take this B, put it up here. This is the G we're gonna do. We're gonna do D, 
G, and then B as the highest note. Um, for the chorus, just to make it sound a little more powerful, I'm actually gonna do octaves in my left hand for the bass notes. If that's too much of a stretch, I would just do single notes on the lower one, but here's the G. So after that G, we've got a D over F sharp. We are gonna do that D the same shape we were doing before. Our thumb's already on D, so we can just kind of collapse the hand down to that, but it is a D slash F sharp, so the bass note is gonna be an F sharp. We're just stepping right down to that. After that chord, we've got an E. Once again, it's gonna be a slightly different inversion. We were doing it like that before, so B's on the bottom. B, D, A flat. But right now, let's keep doing those quarter notes in the right hand. Notice that the G and the D over F sharp is in one measure, so it's two counts each. And this little two measure long sequence uh, goes three times. It's gonna be. Keep your electric eye on me, babe. Three, four. Put your ray gun to my head. Three, four. One more like that. Press your space face close to my love. And now we've got a measure of D. Um, we're gonna, instead of doing this D, we're gonna just step that exact same shape that we've got on that E and just step it down like this. So it's gonna be A, D, F sharp, and you're just gonna hold it for freak out in a moon age daydream, oh, then go up to the E here. Yeah, three, four. Then we would be going back to the next verse. Now, on the recording, the piano, there is piano here, and it does something a little bit more complicated. So I'm gonna show you how to do all those details as usual. If it feels like it's getting too tricky, to, especially to play and sing at the same time, you can just keep it simple with the quarter notes like we were just doing. Here's how it's gonna sound, though. So we need to think about those eighth notes again. For the right hand, we're gonna do one, two, and so we're breaking up the chord into like bottom note with the thumb and then top two notes together on one, two, and when we get to the D, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but on three, four, and, and in the left hand, one, two, and three, four, and I'm also gonna hit on those ands after two and four, just like I was doing in the verse. One, two, and three, four, and So that is uh, a little uh, alteration here where we move the A flat up to an A. It's like an E sus four chord and it just happens really quickly in passing. We actually need to think about 16th notes, which is um, dividing the beat yet again. So instead of one and two and three, it's like one E and a two E and a three. Um, don't need to get too bogged down in the counting. You can just think of it as one, two, three. It's like right after the three. It happens really fast. One, two, three, E and four. And you can hit that last um, chord on four. And I'm just gonna keep doing one, two, three, E and four. I guess I'm hitting the low note with my thumb, the B on beat three, right before going to the alteration. One, two, and three, E. One, two, and three, E, and a four, and. All right, cool, that's all there is to that chorus. After that, we go straight in to another verse. Don't fake it, baby. It is the exact same thing as the other verse, just different words. And then we have another chorus. That next chorus, um, there is a little bit of a variation. You'll notice that on the chord chart, some of the E's in the chorus, I put a little asterisk on. That's to let you know that instead of that E sus4 we were doing as the alteration there, it's gonna be this cool little D over E thing where um, right on the same rhythm, you would just move your right hand down to that D chord that's the exact same shape as the E chord. So like, keep your electric eye So that's the only difference there. It's just a nice little variation that kind of hits the ear in a nice way. I think on the last chorus, sometimes they go. Or do like da, da, da. You can play around with it, mess around. Okay, after that second chorus is an instrumental section or like a solo section. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so here are the chords that are in this solo section. Um, mostly stuff we've already done. There's a B minor. There is an A major. That's a new one. That's gonna be A. D flat and E, then we've got the G and the F sharp. So just all root position. 
And first, I'm going to teach it to you. Let's pretend that you have a penny whistle and saxophone player that's going to play along with you. So you're just doing the piano accompaniment. In a second, we can do the melody as well. And I'm actually going to do fifths in the left hand. So instead of the single bass notes, I'm going to do basically play the chord, but leave out the middle note. So B and F sharp for the B minor, A and E for the A, G and D for the G, and F sharp and D flat for the F sharp. And to get the rhythm right, I'm gonna think in 16th notes, I'm gonna do one E and a two. So four hits on the first count, and then hit on beat two, and then rest. It's gonna sound like this. One E and a two, three E and a four. So also on three E and a four. One E and a two, Three E and a four, one E and a two, three E and a four, one E and a two, three E and a four, one E and a two E and a. On the F sharp, you just do all the sixteenth notes. And you can simplify this rhythm, do something a little slower if you need. But in this section, there's a really catchy melody happening. Uh, I think I'm gonna play that with my right hand. That's gonna be the. So that is, on each chord, we're gonna do kind of the same thing, which makes it a little easier to learn. So for the B minor, we're gonna be just going back and forth between the D and the D flat. Uh, I think it goes back and forth four times. One, two, three, four. I'm counting, I'm not counting the beats in the measure there, because these are 16th notes. One E and a two E and a three and. So after you've gone back and forth four times between the D and the D flat, it lands on the root of the chord, the B. One E and a two E and a three and four. Now we can just apply that exact same pattern to the next chord. We move our hand down to this A shape and it's gonna be between the D flat and the B for the back and forth. Back and forth and back and forth and D flat A. Same thing on the G, but now we're gonna do a B and an A for the back and forth. Back and forth and back and forth and B, G. And then when you get to the F sharp, we do all the 16th notes and the first half of the measure is gonna be a B flat and the second half is the D flat. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. For my left hand, I'm just gonna keep it simple at first and do baby on beats one and the and after one. So one and two and, and then three and four and. So it'll sound like. Starting to do a little bit more there. To do it just like the recording, you can do it uh, the way I taught you before. One E and a two. So five quick hits there. We've pretty much learned everything now. So after that solo section, we have uh, the final chorus, and that's a double chorus. It's gonna go through the whole chorus twice. Um, the only thing you need to know is when you get to the end of the first part of that double chorus, freak out in a moon age daydream, oh. It just holds, oh, with the singing. And um, because it's not really ending there and it's building back into another go round of the chorus, I might just kind of do some extra rhythm there, like, oh. Um, you could also do 16th notes just to give it some movement and then we have one more chorus. Um, the way that the song ends on the recording is after that last chorus, it goes back to sort of that instrumental or solo section. This time not with the melody, it's a guitar solo. Um, and then it just repeats over and over again with a guitar solo and fades out, which is always really hard to do on a solo piano version. So what I'm gonna do is I, I think I'm just gonna do the accompaniment as if I had a guitar player with me. And then uh, I'll probably just go around like twice and then I'm gonna end on a B minor, which I think is at this point of the song, it feels like that's kind of the, the home chord there. So just ending there because I'm not gonna fade out. And that's all there is to it. All right, thanks for sticking with me. I am now going to play a full cover of the song so you can see how all those different parts we did fit together.
If you enjoyed this and you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe. Click the bell so you know whenever I put out a new video like this. Give the song a like and then also let me know in the comments what song you want to hear next. Okay, here is my version of Moon Age Daydream. I'm an alligator. I'm a mama papa coming for you. I'm a space invader. I'll be a rock and rolling bitch for you. Keep your mouth shut. You're squawking like a pig monkey bird. And I'm busting up my brains for the worst. Keep your electric eye on me, babe. Put your Don't fake it, baby. Lie the real thing on me. The church of man love.